this was released on Wednesday. For you guys last Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday the 15th of November. And this was delivered on Wednesday the 15th of November. So, to the company that produces this, thank you and fair play. That is some great turnaround in terms of delivery time. It says it dispatched within three days and it got here in ten hours. That's outrageously good. Now, with that being said, I wasn't in when this was delivered and it got rejected. So got sent a day and a half later to my local post office where I've just been to collect it. And there's a reason I'm unboxing it this way, it's because my address is on the underside and I don't want that leaking. We are on my floor because we're better. We're better. We're better. But we're going to go ahead and try and unbox this. I'm very excited for this. And this works twofold as to why I want this. So, as you can see in there, I have ordered the PlayStation. Look at that. Let me get it out. Let me check there's nothing else in there. There it is. We have this. Let's make this a little neat, shall we? Let's tidy up a little bit. This is the PlayStation Portal, and as you can see, this is a remote player for my PlayStation. It is just a DualSense controller that's been cut in half and an 8-inch screen added to it. I believe it's 8-inch. Now, this is not like a Nintendo Switch. You don't house any games on the machine. It's not playable directly from the machine. It just connects to PlayStation, as long as you are connected to any stable Wi-Fi, they recommend above 15 megabytes a second. Um, my internet is better than that at home, so it's going to be fine. This says put the PS5 in the palm of your hand. Now, it is only compatible with the PS5. It says PS5 game. Oh, no, wait. Your handheld gateway to your PS5 games. Play your a game a collection. An experience breathtaking immersion. Now it uses Sony's remote play, which again is available on PC and on mobile. What I like this, I like this a lot. Um, I mentioned in a video the other day. Sorry, let me just move my feet across because I'm sat at a weird angle. I mentioned in a video, not sure if you caught it, but I am spending a lot of time upstairs in my little gaming den, in my little room, big room, um, just grinding objectives and doing stuff completely offline and not even recording it. And obviously I've got to be up here to do that. Now this gives me the option of just sitting down and watching telly with the missus, chilling out with the dog whilst I do this. And I can still sit and grind my games that I need to be doing on FIFA and squad battles and things like that. And I know it might seem like an expensive thing to get just to play squad battles and stuff, but that's just one of the many uh, myriads of it. It just means I can sit and play some games from my PlayStation. At the same time, it's just chilling out with the missus and I don't have to be up here. Now, I believe it has a battery life of around about five hours, which is fair enough because I'm not going to be using it like religiously um, and the only down
downside that I've found so far on reviews online is that it doesn't have Bluetooth, which I think is ridiculous for something like this. You can connect to the PlayStation books, earbuds or headphones, but you cannot, can't connect to your own like Bluetooth headphones. But again, it does have a USB, no, no USB, it does have a headphone jack, so you, any wired headphones will still connect. I don't understand the necessity of limiting people's Bluetooth earphone connectivity while still allowing headphones, if that makes sense. If you're going to allow headphones, allow all of them. Seems a bit weird. But that being said, let's get into the unboxing of it because I've heard it's absolutely beautiful. And I want to see it in the flesh. I actually only heard about this coming out maybe a week ago and I was looking at it and I just went and pre ordered it. So, with that being said, oh, here we go. One side is open, so we're going to go like this. I'm sat at the most uncomfortable angles, aren't I? this viable it is so let us there we go oh here we go look at this let's can we zoom in a bit there we go and I can move a bit closer then as well so we have the remote player this is very on colour scheme for the original PS1. This sort of like matte grey, half plasticky sort of feel, but obviously this cardboard. And as you can see, then let's just go ahead and reveal this. Oh wow, the unboxing experience of this is actually fantastic. go through some of this and see what it says. So, in English. USB port to PS5 console, if it needs to be. That is everything. It's just the user stuff. Okay, so there's no actual product information on there. So, Where are we? RB, LB. 
I can actually move a bit closer, so let me try and do that. Just because it's getting a bit awkward to hold this. There we go. So it has joysticks. Has everything a normal controller has. Now the mute button is now residing here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And the PS button is on the left hand side which is usually in the middle and then mute's in the middle as well. We have the start button and the share button just in the same place it usually is. And then we have this big, 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 big eight inch screen. I believe it's eight inch. I could be wrong. I'm quoting eight inch just because that's what I remember people say. Now, obviously you can see it's power, not entirely sure what that means. Uh, and then the volume rockers, which are situated at the top. We have the on button on the top. In the light a bit more there. On button, I'm assuming that's a like a connectivity button, maybe to connect to the PlayStation if needs be. And then your volume on and off, and the microphone thing there. On the flip side of this, again, let me see if you can see this. Um, on the flip side, just under here, can you see you have the? I can't get a good shot. There you go, the headphone jack and the USB-C type cable connector in order to charge it. Now here we go. Ooh, this is so satisfying. I don't think it will start straight away, will it? Let's give it a try. Yeah, it does. Let's leave that to turn on. So it is an LCD screen which surprised me because in this day and age you'd think things would be LED or OLED. However, from the reviews I have seen online, they state that it's probably the best LCD screen you'll ever see. And just from my initial reaction to it, it looks like an LED screen. There's nothing to me that suggests that that looks like an <laughs> Like, it's weird because I'm so used to LCD being really dim and LED just being this bright contrast of things. This seems fine and it's it's making noise as you can probably hear it's making noise so i'm going to set this up so as you can see it is performing a software update right now um obviously if i do that you can start to see the light that's above me which is kind of annoying focus come on focus there we go it's performing a system update i've connected setup was really simple with it be oh come on focus no there we go why is it going so out of focus i think it's because of the glare there we go yeah with the uh with the internet being relatively fast in my room because the room is in my room then it's fine obviously i'd like to see what battery life it came with but it is a usb c just for now. How far back can I, I can go to there, that's fair. It's a bit closer for me, but we'll unbox the USB-C to C cable and I can connect this to my PlayStation, I believe. I actually don't know where, but I do have a USB-C to C cable or a block or whatever they're called. There we go. It's already it's already so USB-C to USB-C as you can USB-C this um, it's okay, that's fair enough I'd have liked USB to USB-C because I think that's just a bit more compatible in this day and age but it is what it is and that will have to do um, I'm probably going to be keeping it near my Playstation or downstairs on charge again, you can play with it on charge so don't feel like you can't use it while you're charging it. Um, I'm trying to think of some more information about it just for you guys at home. So yeah, it's a remote player, so it connects to 
your PlayStation via remote play, which you can set up in your PS5 settings. Um, there is a HDMI thing to it as well, which means that it doesn't have to turn your TV on. Or you can use it uh, if you go into your remote play, is it remote play settings or rest mode settings, you can um, you can set it up so that things are active whilst your PlayStation is in rest mode, like doing updates. I didn't know that. I'd like that to be activated on mine. I think you do have to activate it manually. But as you can see, it's literally just like a PS5 controller with a screen in the middle. I don't think there's much more to show you other than gameplay, and I don't think I'm going to be showing you much gameplay on it personally. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, we have power. I'm assuming that's network slash connected to the PlayStation. Volume up, volume down, and the speakers at the top. And I must say, the sound... is very, very, very good. I can't get over how nice that sounds. I'm now taking my headphones off and I can agree with, because the microphone always makes things sound better than they are. But this sounds great. And like I say, it's actually a really comfortable like size and weight. It's not too heavy. It's got a bit of weight to it, I must admit. I've I've heard a lot of people call this much lighter compared to the competitors that it's going for, like the Stream Deck and the Switch. And if they are heavier than this, I can understand why people are going to be preferring things like this. Just because this does feel relatively weighty. Um, I like this a lot. I'm a big, big fan. I mean, just look at the back. It's just... It's a long boy, isn't it? But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I will catch you later. Goodbye.